Peace. My bad, man. You know, you know, my shit ain't professional. Uh, yes, got my fez on, man. I don't wear my fez no more, man, because it don't fit right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's too big. Cause I had a lot, I had my locks, you know what I'm saying? So it don't fit right, so I don't wear it. And I ain't really been able to afford to give me another one right now. But that Corey Holcomb shit pissed me off. Cause I like Corey Holcomb. So you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna do this video to speak on my personal experiences with this Moorish information and why I ultimately decided to, you know, declare my nationality and call myself a Moorish American. I'm just like everybody else. You know what I mean? I learned all this on the internet like the majority of uh, a, a good generation of us did. You know what I'm saying? At this time. Uh, so I had to believe it just like everybody else. You know? And my very first video, I'm on there talking about martial law and all this shit, right? Like, I didn't know none of this thing. I didn't even know what a moral was. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't, I, you know, I, I barely knew black history a little bit. I ain't know nothing about each, none of that. And I started to record myself because I knew that someone right, but I knew, I believed in myself that I would figure it out. So I said, I'm going to record myself, you know what I'm saying, just to watch, just to see my growth over the years. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I did. And I'm saying all that so you can go see that I'm not making this shit up as I'm saying it. You know what I'm saying? Go to my old videos. This one called Nigga History Month 2. That's when I first found out about Morris. That was like in March of 14. You know what I'm saying? So I've been dealing with this for about three years. You know what I mean? And, I, you know, even then, I still didn't go in with it because, you know, it's information. It's just knowledge that you hear or whatever online. It could be a lot. What I did was I waited till the police stopped me. Now, the ancestors are with me, of course, because when they rode me, I was right by the house. So I was able to pull up right in my own driveway, which gave me a little bit more confidence. But I jumped out, and I, you know what I'm saying? He, he said, you know, get back in the car with the wolf. I'm like, nah. I'm not getting back in the car. You know, what I do? What's wrong? He said, I need a driver's license. I said, I don't have a driver's license. I'm not a United, United States citizen. He jumped and got back in the car and started getting on his phone and shit. I'm like, damn, this shit's real. You see what I'm saying? So then, I, you know, I, at that time, I had been studying. So I knew the concepts. So I ran that down with him. And he gave me a ticket, but he gave it was the wrong name. And I, and, and I said, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it was the wrong name. And, he, and I ain't showing him no no proof of my identity because he he unlawful in the first place he didn't have no right to stop me and that's why he didn't even try to demand nothing because he knew he was wrong once i knew he was wrong you see what i'm saying once i showed him that i knew he was wrong whole motherfucking demeanor switch it was a white it was a white boy white cop whatever whatever i told him you got to have a declaration of authority order to to even question me to even have interactions with me you understand what i'm saying interaction is commerce that's business you see, I didn't elicit the business with him. He came to me. Therefore, he has to have uh, authority to do so and to hinder me in my travels. You see what I'm saying? So I tried it, and I'd be damned if she didn't come off right. So, and I, you know, I ain't nothing, nothing's ever happened to me. All right? So that was just one thing that made me say, you know what? This shit is real. You know what I'm saying? But I still didn't get too much into the law aspect of it because, honestly, I didn't care. You know, I don't do nothing. I don't care about... If I can, it was legal and was lawful. Because I don't do shit. So I really didn't give a damn. But what happened to me was my daughter got took the CPS. Got took the CPS. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going real personal in my business, which I don't really do. But you know what I'm saying? This whole, they, they disrespecting, they disrespecting the information that got me my daughter. You understand what I'm saying? This more shit got me my daughter. You understand? Because they was trying to run me through the system. Put me on child support, make me do drug tests, make me take psych exams, make me do fatherly classes. I told them, fuck you, I ain't doing none of it. I ain't doing none of it. And you're going to give me my daughter. And that's what I got. Because I told them I'm a Moorish American. This attorney is not my attorney. He does not represent me. Because they because they give you an attorney outside because, you know, you can't speak for yourself without whatever, you know, whatever, whatever. I put that paperwork on file, on their ass, and then all of a sudden, miraculously, I all of a sudden get a hearing for t to place my child with me. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, personally, I've done the shit, personally. I've t I'm talking to the judge. I'm to the judge telling me, the judge told me, oh, this, this, this Moorish information is so, it's so fascinating. I did a, I did a little research last night, and 
And, you know, if you, the judge now, she said, if you want to send me some information concerning it, if you want to just send it to the court, you know, I'd appreciate it. I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? But it, it was all a game anyway. They playing me anyway, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not supposed to be there in the first place. You're not supposed to be in these courts, you know what I'm saying? But I know it's crooked, so you got to do what you got to do. And that's the point in all this. You niggas ain't got nothing. Being black ain't got me shit. Except for pride, fool. And that's what's up. I'm proud. We look this. This whole thing is a cosmic game. And I'm not finna explain all that. What I am gonna say is this right here, this more shit changed my life. It got me my daughter back. You understand what I'm saying? From the way it got these white folks to fuck away from me. You, you, you dig? I ain't never dealt with them. They ain't never dealt with me how they dealt with me until I showed up in there. I ain't had I ain't had my feds on, but I had my turban on. I it was until I showed up on them like that and I told them what it was. That's when I got my respect. You understand what I'm saying? Because how the fuck they gonna respect you if you calling yourself what they named you? You niggas ain't been black that long. Like they was colored in the fifties. You was at you ain't you was African American in the eighties, barely, just now. So what are you, man? So, you know, that Corey Hogan shit pissed me out, you feel me? So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do what y'all wanna do. I'm going to keep doing what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep sharing this information. It's more information because that's what worked for me. That's what changed my life. And that's what all the information points to for me. You want to be an African-American, a Pan-African, or a Hotep nigga, and take your ass back to Africa then. That's what's up. We don't need you. I'm tired of you niggas. Like, personally, even though I, for the most part, it's not my people. It's really just these agents out here. But a lot of the people will repeat the same shit these agents are repeating. The Moors are traitors. Dumb fucks. Like, what do you call these fake-ass black people right now? Like Steve Harvey and so on. All right? Like, get grow up. Grow the fuck up. Ain't nobody perfect. Black, white, brown, Mexican. Since we going race game. Ain't none of that shit. No, no one's perfect. No group of people that are chosen by God and they better than everybody else. It doesn't work like that, my nigga. Like, we talking DNA. Whose DNA is the longest out here? Who been on this planet the longest? Okay, then. Them the original people. That's your African-American. Your black folks. All right? It is what it is. All this other shit is, is, is play games. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's whatever, man. You know, I'm going to rock my fist. Don't fit, but you know what I'm saying? I kind of like how I hang down. I love like them New York niggas used to wear them hats. Like Sean. <laughs> oh, peace and love, man. Love, true peace, freedom, and justice, man. All praise to the prophet Noble Drew Ali. I know I talk a lot and I play a lot. But that's real. You know what I'm saying? I know it was a real prophet who came to real people to get them the light to get them out of the dark. But the darkness comprehend them not. He will not be received by his own people. I mean, peace and love, man. It's long.